My name is Mr Lyon and I'm the Head of Sixth Form at Boston Grammar School. I'm here now to talk to you about some of the other matters that might concern you as a student entering our Sixth Form for the first time, other than the subject choices that you might wish to make. As part of our support of students at Boston Grammar School, we have a range of teachers who work specifically with you as Sixth Form students to help and guide you through your journey. Happy students are successful students and we will do our level best to work hard with you to make sure that your time at Boston Grammar School is one that is happy and fruitful for you and leads you to a satisfactory but also an exciting and stimulating future for yourself. We have a team of, of staff who work with students on a regular basis. That includes your eight tutors who work solely in the sick form alongside those we have Mr Wright, who is our sixth form coordinator. He works to deal with timetabling issues, but also handles things in connection with academic sections of UCAS applications and other matters uh, with students who may be considering early entry for courses at Oxbridge or for medicine and dentistry. In addition to Mr Wright, we have Miss Merritt, who is our sixth form support worker. She's based here in the sixth form centre and her role is to really help to support students in dealing with attendance matters. She deals with day to day issues that occur in life in general when you're a student in sixth form. And she's here to help and support uh, and she may provide you with the odd uh, spare pencil if you've forgotten yours or help with completing an application with something. She's just on hand and very useful to know and she is here to help make your sick form journey as smooth as possible. And then I myself as head of sick form, I'll be here uh, to oversee your travel through the two years of sick form to make sure that you leave us at the other end uh, as successfully as you possibly can do, having had hopefully a happy and joyous journey along the way. To help you with your journey, we monitor and support you uh, along your academic route. So at various points throughout your courses, your teachers are asked to report home on your progress and your academic achievement. They'll take a, a view of the work that you've done throughout the course of a term, for example, a, that will include any homework or wider work that you've undertaken and make a judgment uh, about a combination of all those factors as to what your academic, academic attainment is looking like at this precise moment. They'll also provide for you uh, a target grade. The target is designed to be aspirational uh, and to encourage you to aim high and to do your best. We won't leave you to aim high and do your best on your own. We will support you along the way. Uh, we try really hard to make sure that all our students have a successful time here at school. The qualifications that we offer at Boston Grammar School are extensive and broad. Uh, we cover a multitude of A-level subjects, uh, but also we offer currently two Level 3 BTEC courses, one in uh, PE or Sport and the other in Science. In addition to that, we offer some extension courses that students might wish to undertake to enrich their lives while they're here at school. We offer the Extended Project Qualification, uh, which is a student-led research qualification we also offer a finance qualification that students can undertake that will give them some basic accountancy skills, but things that are very useful for their life ahead. In tutor time, students follow a directed course of tutor time study. On Mondays, for example, students follow the A-Level Mindset programme, the VESPA programme, and that provides them with activities and support materials that will help them with their learning journey. So giving them thoughts about how they might revise successfully, how they might organise their time, how they might organise their notes and keep on top of work during private study. On Tuesdays in tutor time, students undertake debating activities and we encourage them to engage in lively debate because that's really important in the, in the world beyond sick form. That ability to communicate successfully and also to do so uh, in a respectful way, listening to other people and having empathy for their views and decisions. On Wednesdays, students are invited to bring their own materials to tutor time to engage in some wider reading or they might just engage in an activity that just promotes and supports their well-being and mindfulness. 
and on Thursdays we offer a basic financial course that deals with the things that uh, you know as adults we would find in our everyday lives things like credit cards how to apply for loans what interest rates mean uh, how you deal with uh, applying for a mortgage and also how you deal with the financial budgeting required to be successful as uh, many of our students go on to university those skills are really important in terms of entry requirements we ask all our students to achieve between a grade four and a grade nine in five subjects, including English and maths. In addition to that, we ask that students achieve a level six in their chosen courses that they would wish to study at A-level or at level three BTEC. We know that those courses are challenging and therefore we ask students to achieve a level six because we believe that gives them the best chance of successful uh, completion of A-levels and level three courses, uh, achieving grades that they'd be pleased with at the end of the process. Now, when students get to the end of their process, they'll be considering what they would like to do next. And during the time in the sixth form, we help and guide students with making those decisions, the ones that would be right for them. So we look to support students in their UCAS applications with their personal statements and their choices of universities. But also for those that are not looking to go to university, we try and give support with apprenticeships and other uh, offers from the world of work just to ensure that students who come to us in the sick form leave us at the other end, able to access the next stage that they require. While students are here in the sick form, we provide for them a range of opportunities of enrichment and other activities that they may like to do. One of those includes leadership positions, and every year we appoint a senior student leadership team. That team consists of a head boy, a head girl, and deputies and assistant heads at the top of that scheme, but then we also have House of Vice Captains, and in addition to those roles, we have senior captains of subject-specific areas, so enterprise, environment, sport, anti-bullying, um, and academic attainment. Those opportunities are a great chance for students, A, to learn how to actually apply for a position, so they go through a formal process involving letters of application and interviews, but also how to work as a team collaboratively to undertake projects and get things done. I very much hope as they're to sick form that we take great care in the way that we treat our students in sick form. It's my aim that we look after everybody as best we can. And I believe as a school that we do that really well by following our core principles of care, which care, achievement, respect and excellence. In allowing students to find their route in life and to flourish while doing so, supporting them where they have uh, pitfalls and uh, sometimes get it wrong, but also uh, celebrating the excellent achievements that they undertake, I believe that we set students on a solid path towards their future. And that's what we are here to do. I strongly recommend that you look carefully at the options that we have on offer at our school. And although you can't come and see us uh, in the flesh at the moment, I'm sure and I hope that from the films that we've set for you that you actually can see uh, what a great school this is to come to. <laughs>